so as you all know, I really love music and I want to be a singer-songwriter when I grow up. So I have this little music corner in my house and I'm gonna show it all to you today. So let's get on with the video. And let's start right here. So I have this little pillow and it's not actually for my music channel. It actually has the name of my other channel, which is in Brazilian Portuguese. And I do vlogs, challenges, and of course, music. So a fan made this for me and it's so, so special and so beautiful that I decided to put it here. And it's also really good for me to put my ukulele on it so it doesn't hit the wall. By the way, this right here is my ukulele. I got it as a gift from my mom, which is right behind the camera, right mom? Yes. <laughs> for my 12th birthday. And since my birthday was right in the beginning of quarantine, it was a really good companion. A very tiny, close friend of mine. So I'm gonna play a little bit. I think that's my favorite combination of chords because it's just so sunshiny and happy and I'm a very happy person in general. So yeah, it's a concert ukulele so it's not too small or too big. It's just the perfect size for me. And it's really pretty because of the design. You can see the tones of wood right here and it has some like goldish brown in them, which I really like. And I also like the little details, like right in the border, you can see the stripes right here. Ta-da! And I really love this design. It's just so pretty. This is also an electric ukulele, right here. But we tried using it with wires and it didn't work that well, so we just had to record it on the microphone. But it's still pretty cool. So right here is my tuner. And I really, really love this tuner because it has many different modes for like different string instruments. As you can see, look. So it has C for chromatic. Then it has guitar. There's a G for guitar. A B for bass. A V for violin. And then ukulele C. And I don't know if you can see this, but it's U and then a mini, mini C. And then ukulele D, which is also a U and a mini, mini D. And of course, when I tune my ukulele, I use the ukulele settings, but I don't do D major, I do C major because I can play many more songs in C major. Let's turn this off. And this is my ukulele. So let's put it back. Oh, and in this box, I decided to make a pillow so my ukulele wouldn't like hit the bottom of the box so hard and like be ruined because I didn't want it to be ruined, obviously. So I decided to make a pillow to cover the bottom of it and make it more safe, but it didn't go as planned. It was a little too small, um, so we had to put a towel underneath it. It's a good thing I decided to become a musician and not a fashion designer, right? So right beside my ukulele, I have this guitar. And it was my first guitar ever. It is so tiny. Look at this. I got it when I was nine and I started playing guitar because of Ed Sheeran. I had heard his song perfect on the radio and I was like, I love this song. And I decided to try to sing it and I found out that he plays guitar. And I was like, ooh, I wanna play guitar just like him. So I asked my mom for guitar lessons and yay, I got them. And then she got me this beginner guitar. And I know it doesn't sound very good, but it's because my mom wasn't sure if I was gonna stick to playing the guitar, so she bought like the cheapest one in the store. But I was still so amazed by it, and I remember that I used to play it while singing. Um, I think I have a video of me playing and singing this song, and I was just randomly strumming. When I see you again, actually thought I sounded good, but I hadn't even started my lessons and I had no idea what I was doing, and still, I had a lot of fun. <laughs> then I started to finally have guitar lessons and I learned a bunch of songs, including Perfect by Ed Sheeran. So I accomplished my goal, yay! And then I asked my mom to start a music channel because I realized that what I really wanted to do was music. I really, really love music, until today, obviously. So I recorded my first video. I don't know if you've watched it, but it's Lost Boy. And then my mom edited it, posted it on the channel. 
But when I finally heard it, I realized that the guitar really sounded like a toy guitar. And I was like, oh no, this is bad. So I asked my mom for another guitar and she agreed that it was time for me to move to the next level. So she got me this guitar. I'm gonna play it right now and you're gonna see it sounds much, much better. Wow, do you hear that sound? It is so different. And I was like, whoa, this is so much better. This is also an acoustic guitar, like the other one, but it's also electric as you can see right here. So that means it can be recorded on wire, which is really good for me because I can have two separate tracks, one with my voice and one with the guitar. And then if I really want to, I can mess around with the sounds, make my voice louder and the guitar lower or the opposite. And another difference from this guitar to the other one is the strings. This guitar has metal strings. As you can see on the bottom, they're very shiny and very thin. They're also really sharp. While the other guitar has nylon strings, which is like a soft plastic. And it even makes a softer sound. So when I got this guitar, it was really hard to play because they are so sharp and it hurt my fingers. Let me show you. If I hold this for a few seconds, you can see it made a mark. And that was only for a few seconds. Imagine playing a whole song. <laughs> That would really hurt my fingers, so it took some time to get used to. So this guitar is very professional, very like, it sounds really good, but it's very hard to play. Anyways, I still love it. Oh, and something else I just noticed, I forgot to mention, it has a strap. So I can put it on my back and I don't have to hold the guitar all the time. This one doesn't have a strap and I can't attach a strap to it because it doesn't have buttons. It doesn't have one here or on the bottom. They look like this. One here and another one here. And this is also where I put the wire. So that's cool, right? Put it back. Then right here, I have this white board, which is not white, it's actually green. So I'm gonna call it my green board. Do you like that name? So I have my green board and I'm supposed to take notes on it, but for now I just made a little pretty drawing of music on it. Yay! Then down here I have these statues that I got from my mom for Christmas. Look, they're so pretty, right? I love them. And up here I have this poster of one of my favorite singers called Leah Daniels. She's Canadian and she lives in the Durham region, which is where I lived when I moved to Canada. So I got the chance to watch her live. And later I got to meet her and she signed this poster. Look, Leticia, so nice to finally meet you. Cause we had already chatted on Instagram. Maybe one day we can duet, Leah Daniels. She is so, so, so sweet and so glad I met her. Anyways, right beside this poster, I have this award that I got from my school because they had a drama program and they were doing Aladdin and I got to participate and I got to play Jasmine. So that was really, really cool. And at the end of the year, they give out awards to the students. And guess which one I got? The drama one. And I found it such a coincidence because it kind of looks like the Aladdin lamp. Doesn't it? <laughs> and then right here, there's a little corner with shelves and there's a bunch of decorations on them. So up here we have the Brazilian flag, cause of course I'm from Brazil. We have a snail, which my grandma made while she was here in quarantine. Down here there's this old clock, nothing related to music really. But down here on this shelf, there's a frame which my mom gave me. And it says, what part of this? Da -da 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 -da. I'm just pretending, I, I don't know what it means. <laughs> Don't you understand? So what part of music don't you understand? It's like, music is another language, you know? And right beside that, there's an octopus. That's not related to music at all, but it's still really cute, don't you think? I think it's one of my favorites. And it was also made by my grandma, of course. Here I have a guitar case, but it's empty because my guitar is obviously over there. 
So it's empty. Uh, let's put it right here so we have space. Stay. I'm so afraid of it falling. Stay. We're good. Anyways, back to the video. Down here I have some smaller instruments. So I have a harmonica which I got from my uncle. Let's see if I can open it. Is it cool? I really like harmonicas. It looks so cool, don't you think? And it's really cool that you can make two motions to make different sounds. So if I come here and I blow out my breath, and now if I breathe in, oh, that sounded good actually. I had no idea what I was doing, but it sounded good. <laughs> I'm gonna put it back. So I have a harmonica and I have recorders cause we play them at school. I don't know if you guys have this at your school, but I play recorder at my school and I have this one. Ooh, I'm gonna try to play it. I think I remember Hallelujah. being way too loud and I don't think neighbors generally like recorders because they're like <laughs> so I don't think they like it and it's getting late here so nope not happening <laughs> and another reason why I can't play the recorder is because since I've been in online school I haven't had music class meaning I haven't been able to learn how to play the recorder so I can't play the recorder anymore but I think that when I go back to normal school, like in-person school, I'll be able to learn again. Oh, and this case was made by my last music teacher. Isn't it so cool? So she would make them and we students were able to buy them and then she would use the money to make uniforms for the choir. Isn't that great? I really like her as a teacher. And they also have this other recorder, which is blue, which is my favorite color. Isn't it so pretty? Oh, in these elastics, I remember that I had this teacher and whenever we learned a new song, she would give us elastics and we could put them on our recorder and I tied them up like this. <laughs> I know it's weird, but I was very creative. So now I'll put it back, of course. Next shelf. So right here I have this blue basket and it has a lot of different things in it. It has pencils, as you can see, many pencils for me to take notes. And there's this yellow pencil because sometimes I do sight reading with my mom and she gives me golden stars. So she gives me one star if I learn the song, two stars if I memorize the song, and three stars if I can play it on tempo and memorized. Isn't that cool? I really like that my mom helps me that way. She's very supportive. Okay, back to the basket. I have these candies that are good for my throat so they soothe my throat which is really good for when i sing i also have this gum it's peppermint gum and it's for when i'm in dry environments because if i chew it it moisturizes my throat and so my voice is not hoarse uh next in this very cute unicorn case <laughs> i have da, 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 i can't open it okay there i have Thumb pigs, I don't know what you call them. I call them fake nails. So these are pigs that you put on your thumbs and if your nails are like really short, kind of like mine, it's kind of bad for when you're strumming because it kind of hurts your fingers. So you can use this, ta-da! I call it a fake nail because it kind of looks like a fake nail. If I could, I would put nail polish on it, but I can't, so I won't. <laughs> and I can adjust the size. I can make it tight or lose. I really love this case, isn't it so cute? Right here I have a capo, it was my first capo ever and I was admired by it because it was gold <laughs> and shimmery and shiny and I love shiny stuff. So yeah, it's just a normal capo. And I have another capo right here 
And I think out of the two, this one is my favorite because first of all, it's much stronger. And this one's weaker. And also this one is more compact than this one. See? So yeah, these are my two capos. So this was my first tuner, but unfortunately it broke as you can see, but I can still use it because it has two modes. It has the vibrations mode, which can't work anymore because it can't work with the, ah, the part that's right here. This part senses the vibrations. So I can still use it in mic. So it hears like the sounds that are going on. But the problem is that whenever I have to tune my guitar, I'll have to be like super quiet. Otherwise it's gonna do the wrong tuning. It's gonna show the wrong notes. So, yeah, it's kind of hard to use this one, but I know I can still use it. So here I have my ukulele picks. These picks are very soft, as you can see, and they're much bigger than the guitar picks. Let me grab you a sample. See? They're much bigger. This is the guitar pick, and that's the ukulele pick. And I have three different colors, and for some reason I really like the fact that I have three different colors, even though it doesn't change a thing. I have a beige one, a white one, and a black one. Oh, and here I also have like this little thing. I don't know what it's used for. It's like a keychain. And this is an extra knob. Where's the lid? Oh, where did I put the lid? Oh, there. It's a transparent lid, so I couldn't see it. <laughs> Down here, I have all my guitar picks, and for some reason, this guitar pick escaped. Hmm. Okay, so I have many different guitar picks. I have this rainbow transparent one. I think it's one of my favorites. Isn't it so pretty? I really like it. I have this one. It's white, but it glows in the dark. This one is very thin. Oh wait, it's for the ukulele. Wow. <laughs> I should really put it in here. More glow in the dark picks. And this green pick is for my guitar teacher because in my first class I didn't have picks. I didn't even know they existed. But he gave me some so I could have them, obviously. Oh, and this is another ukulele pick. It's blue. Some more picks that I've already shown you guys. And this pick is so tiny. It's also a guitar pick, but I don't know how to explain the difference. Maybe I should play it. Come here. I'm gonna grab my old guitar again. Okay, so I'm gonna play with the original guitar pick. I'm gonna play a C chord. It makes a very full sound. Oh no, I dropped it. Oops. <laughs> and now the tiny, tiny pick. Also a C chord. It makes a much lighter sound if you think of it. It sounds happier. And I really like it. It's like, yay! I'm awake. I'm sunshiny. I'm happy. <laughs> I don't know why. I just feel it. Okay, let's compare them. Can you hear the difference? This one sounds much happier. And this one sounds fuller. It sounds like there's a big sound in the room. Let's close it. Okay, now these heart picks that are so, so cute. So these are also ukulele picks because I had lost my other ukulele picks, but then I found them later. So my mom bought me these. So these picks are furry. I don't know why, they're just furry. I don't know if there's a specific reason. But I know that they're very thick. You see, they're not thin like the other ones. These are thick. And these are not flexible. They're very hard, but they're soft. If you touch them, they're soft. And these two escaped, so I'm going to put them back in the bag. This is my dry mouth spray. And I use it when I'm gonna record my singing, obviously, because it's for my mouth. Because it moisturizes my mouth, not my throat, but like inside. It doesn't make sounds like 
because sometimes I can make sounds like that when I'm singing, so this prevents that, which is good. So here we have a battery for my electric guitar. You have to use batteries for an electric guitar. I really have no idea what this is. <laughs> I know it's here, but it must have a reason, so I'm gonna keep it in here. These are extra ukulele strings. Oh, why is this here? Okay, this is for a microphone. After you use it, you put this sponge so you don't ruin it. Maybe I should get it. No, I'll do that later. Okay, and in here I have guitar strings. Oh, another pig escaped. Really gotta send them to prison again? Stay there. Don't leave. Oh, this is the last thing. This is just a guitar manual. It's not much, but sometimes I might need it, so I keep it here. Okay, let's put it all back in here because I made a mess outside of the box. And let's put it in the shell. And down here, these are my other guitar cases, but they are not solid. Exactly, like, they're not very hard as this one. And of course, it doesn't protect the guitar very well, but it's portable, and that's good, I think. So I have two of those. Oh, and this is a part of my piano because they weren't able to finish. They were gonna do the lid, but they weren't able to finish it because of the lockdown. So we're just keeping it here. I'm gonna put this guitar case back, right? Down here, I don't think if you've noticed, but this kind of looks like a door. And it is. I know, I was really surprised when I found out. I was like, wait, this opens? What? And I was like, whoa, that's a secret compartment. I shall put treasure. And this is my treasure. Okay, so right here I have my guitar books. I have notebooks and exercise books. And I also have my guitar binder. So I have like a lot of songs in here. Look, there's Perfect by Ed Sheeran. All the chords, this is where I keep the lyrics and the chords. There's Old Piano by Leah Daniels. Let's open a random page. Oh, Scent of Affection. This was my first original ever, and it was about my mom. <laughs> we wrote it together, right, Mom? Yes. Yay. So it has a bunch of sheets. Some, some are ripped because they're like really old. <laughs> I've had this binder for a while now. Many songs. Look, there's Jar of Hearts by Christina Perry. My mom prints the lyrics, and she also always puts like images with them. Like there's a jar with hearts inside. Yay. You say, I believe, and then it's like that person is stalking and that person is like, should I believe you or what? Mm. Wait, let me show you a really cool example. I don't know. A Thousand Ears, Christina Perry, because A Thousand Ears, uh, I don't know if you know this pony, it's Twilight from My Little Pony. And A Thousand Ears is a song from the movie Twilight. So my mom put the Twilight, the pony in there and it was so funny. Good job, mom. Yay. Yeah, my mom likes putting pictures. Like the old piano, she put a piano. <laughs> also, she has, um, you know, Hello by Adele. I don't know if you know the song, it's really good. Go check it out if you don't know it. Hello by Adele. She put a little bubble saying, hello. I really liked it. And here I have my ukulele binder. You can literally read ukulele. I think I wrote it wrong though. It's ukulele with a an U, not an E right here. I always write it wrong. I'm trying to like write it correctly, but it's hard. And these are the tuning. And my chord sheets. I have learned a lot of chords, as you can see. And then he, these are the songs, but not all of them are in here yet. I'm still working 
So we got Snow by Leah Daniels. I really like this song. And it's originally on the ukulele. I learned this in the guitar, but I made it into the ukulele. So, yay, I can play on the original instrument. Okay, let's put it back in here. Okay, and down here, there are pipes, so I don't wanna put, it's like really hot. So I don't want to put paper in here because I don't want it to burn and put fire on the house, obviously. So I have microphones and things. So there's this microphone right here. And you put it on like this. I look like I'm a, I'm a news reporter or a business uh, manager. I'm just like, hi, yes, okay. Okay, it's your cue. It's your cue, uh, Jimmy. Go, Jimmy. It's your cue. And for this to work, I need to connect it with this boom box. I just, the only reason I don't like this boom box is because it's like, shh, a lot of white noise in the background. It's like, shh, all the time. So it kind of makes me go crazy. I'm just like, stop that sound, please. This is the wire for me to charge the boom box. And in here, it's like my favorite microphone of all time. I got it from my great aunt. So like, she is the sister of my great grandma. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. But yeah, I got it from her and look at how beautiful this is. This is a rose gold microphone and it's for karaoke. That's why it has like a mini radio on it and you can turn it on and you can like change the volume of um, the voice, how much echo you want there to be in the voice and the volume of the music. For now I have them all turned off. And these are Bluetooth um, controls. So this is go back to the last song that we sang. This is pause or play, and this is go to the next song. So it's really cool, I love this mic so much. Oh look, it's the twin of the other sponge. I shall get the other sponge before I forget. Excuse me. It's right here. Oh, I found it. Now I can put it on like this. Now it's all protected and cozy. Put it back. And yes, I don't know if you noticed, but this is also a secret compartment. Ha <laughs> ha, I have more secrets than you think. <laughs> so this is a binder from singing lessons I took. And even though I don't take them anymore, I still have the notes with me. I like to pretend that I'm my own singing teacher, even though I'm not experienced in any way to be a singing teacher. I know how to sing, but I just give myself homework. <laughs> I just like pretending that I'm a singing teacher because I also love acting. So here, as you can imagine, this is my singing shelf. So I have notebooks with songs that I wrote. This is my official songwriting book, SWB. This is a songbook and I did my own stickers. <laughs> as you can see, I like to be decorating all my books. <laughs> and these are just a bunch of songs that I think I should learn to do. So in blue are the ones that I've already done. There's Gravity from Wicked, When I Grow Up until the Musical. Those were for an audition, so I put it in gray. There's Firework Katy Perry, You Say, You're My Sunshine, a Piano, lots and lots of songs. And then whenever I have an idea, I just add it here. So I did this one, Jane Bala. It's in Portuguese. So, yeah. So these books are from when I took classical singing lessons. And that was all the way back in Oshawa. But then I moved to Toronto and started taking pop singing lessons. So I have repertoire books. I only got to level two. And this is Musical Theater Collection. And it has a lot of musical theater songs. It has Beauty and the Beast, for example. I got the Sun in the Morning. I never like saw that musical. 
I have confidence from the sound of music. It's really good. There's one from Cinderella in my own little corner. And my favorite one of them all is Memory from Cats. I don't know if I should sing it now because it's kind of late. <laughs> so, it has my favorite things from the sound of music on my own. Yeah, that was the song I chose to sing at my first and last recital at that school. So, it's very special to me. I really like it. And many more songs. And in case you're wondering, I do still practice these songs because I think it's important to keep practicing the songs that I've learned because I don't want to forget how to do classical or musical theater or pop when I grow up. And down here, these are just piano and theory books that I don't use much anymore. But in case I need them in the future, I have them, yay. So I just keep them here. And here is just some tripods, not related to music at all. And here is my piano. And I left it for last because it is so cool. I think it's the coolest thing in my music corner and I really enjoy playing it. So this is my piano. It's an upright piano. It's not a grand piano or electric. Here I have this towel. It was a gift from my great grandmother. And it says Leticia, which is my full name. And it has music notes. So I keep it here because I think it completely matches the theme, am I right? And before I sit on the bench, yes, it is a secret compartment. Because I have many secret compartments. So here I put my piano books and my binder where I take notes. I have this music notebook where I can write music. I started to write a song called How the Wind Blows. It's only on the piano, no lyrics for now. And here are my RCM books, Royal Conservatory books. And I started a prep beat, as you can see. I went to level one, and then I'm in level two. And I've already finished this book in level two, so I'm going to be going to level three very soon, and I'm so, so, so excited. And here is just my piano binder. It has notes in it, some flashcards, scales, a mini paper piano, and it also has uh, some theory in it. And here it has sheet music. Wait, let me see if I can find it. So I have Wake Up from Julie and the Phantoms. I did a video on that. I don't know if you saw it, but I learned that song on sheet music and I'm so proud. <laughs> I'm so proud. And this is The Little Drummer Boy, which is a Christmas song. I learned it on the piano. I wanted to do a cover for this on my channel, but I didn't have the time. So maybe next Christmas. I was gonna push it. <laughs> I don't know why. I was gonna close it by pushing it for some very odd reason. <laughs> there, now I close it correctly. Oh, and right here, I just have a book stand for sheet music. Nothing really interesting. And I wish I could play the piano, but it's getting really late here and I don't want to disturb the neighbors. So I can only play really quietly. I'm gonna use this pedal to make the piano quieter, look. Mm. I think it's still a little too loud. Well, if you want to see me playing the piano, you can check out my channel or I'll leave some links in the cards, making it easier for you, okay? I'm very nice. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and bye until the next time.